Hey guys and welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a new Maya 2018 video and in this video I'm going to show you how to model a tunnel segment. Okay? Now it's not necessarily about the tunnel segment, it's more about alternative methods to do the same thing. All right? So in Maya there are many many ways to achieve the same goal. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you one technique you can use to do this. Okay? So uh, have fun. Okay guys, well we're in uh, Maya 2018 and we're going to start off by creating a polygon uh, plane. Okay, so we're going to go to create polygon primitives and plane. We're going to go into our attribute editor, hit control A to open that up. And we're going to go into polyplane and we're going to set this to one by one subdivision. All right. Now keep in mind that what I'm going to show you today is one of many methods you can use to achieve this um, model, this tunnel model. Uh, it's not even probably the most efficient one, but it's important to me to teach you as many techniques as possible so you can use uh, utilize them whenever needed, okay? All right, so we got this polygon plane. I'm going to jump to my top view. And what I want is to align the bottom left corner with the center of my grid. So I'm going to hit the insert key, which will allow me to move my pivot point. I'm going to hold down V, which will snap it to the bottom vertex and I'm going to hit the insert key again okay then I'm going to hit a W to move my plane I'm going to hold down X and I'm going to snap it to the center of my grid there you go so this is now right there now I want to kind of cut out a semi or a quarter of a circle here and I need a reference to do that so I'm going to go to create uh, polygon primitives and I'm going to select the cylinder I'm going to hit R to scale this down until we have something like this. Hopefully you can see it. So we've got this and we've got this. And I want to kind of cut this out of my plane, right? So the cylinder is just a reference only, nothing else. All right, so I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to go to my modeling toolkit. I'm going to take my multi-cut tool and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to start on this vertical line right here. And I'm basically going to follow the shape of my cylinder until we have something like this, okay? And I'm gonna hit enter, I'm gonna hit Q on my keyboard. You can move and manipulate the vertices if you like. You can go and right click the vertex, drag select, hit W, and you can even follow them exactly if you would want to, but that's not really the purpose of this tutorial, okay? So this is how you can move them if you want. Let's say we're good with this, okay? So I'm gonna hit Q on my keyboard. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna take my cylinder here in object mode, hit delete. And what I now have is a plane with a line on it, okay? So we're gonna right click at a face, we're gonna select that face and we're gonna delete it. And then this is what we have left, which is basically an object that is one huge and gone because it has way more than four um, edges, okay? So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna fix that first. We're gonna jump back in here. We're gonna take our multi-cut tool and we're gonna jump from here straight up to there. Let's hit enter from here straight up to there enter from there to there and hit enter and from there to there and hit enter once again and then that leaves us with one end gone right here and once again an end gone is something with more than four sides here you got one two three four one two three four this one has one two three four five so we're gonna go in and we're gonna put one in right here and hit enter. So we've got one, two, three, four on each side. Okay, hit Q on your keyboard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click at object mode and we're gonna mirror this guy over. Okay, so let's see where our pivot point is. Let's hit W, it should be down here, which is perfect. We're gonna go up to edit, duplicate special, option box. And I want an instance, I'll just go to reset here. I want an instance and I want that to be in the X direction and I want that to be a negative value of one. Okay. So let's hit apply. 
Uh, as we do that, you can see we now have these two parts, but they're two parts. They need to be merged together. So mesh and combine. Still not there yet because these vertices are not merged in the middle. So we're going to right click at our vertex, drag select, go to always looking for that thing. Here it is, merge. And there you go. So how do you check that? If I click on one of these vertices and I hit W to move it around, I don't have any openings. So I know that they're merged correctly. Okay. So that is what we have so far. I'm going to go um, into object mode, E to rotate, hold down J as I do that and set that upright like this. And then I'm going to hit control E to extrude and I'm going to pull on the thickness right here, which will basically give me a tunnel segment. Okay. All right. We're going to hit enter like so. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to smooth this guy out a little bit. So I'm going to go in to insert edge loop option box. Actually, let's not, let's not do that just yet. We're going to do something cool first. So we've got this, we're going to right click at object mode and we're going to hit uh, control D to duplicate and we're going to hit E to rotate. Let's see if that happened correctly. Yeah, it did. So E to rotate and hold down J. The pivot is not quite where it should be, but we'll sort that. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy, modify center pivot. We'll take this guy, G to repeat last command. And then I'll hit W to move it, hold down X and snap it. W to move it, hold down X and snap it. There you go. So these two are now like so. I'm going to select them both. And I'm going to go up to mesh, boolean, and union. And as we do that, we get this cool effect that you can use in, you know, cathedrals and whatnot. And just to, um, you know, make that even cooler, if you will, what you can do is you can go in and you can extend those faces downwards. Okay. So I could uh, right click, go to face, and we can select all these faces here just to give you an idea what that would look like. Not sure if I got all of them, but I think I do. Yeah, it looks okay. We're going to hit control E to extrude and we're going to hit W and we're going to pull that down. Okay. So that's one way of going about it. You can also go in and not extend these guys. So I'm just going to take these right here. Uh, let's see. Like this. Yep. And then hit control E and W to pull down. which will give you this effect right there. Okay. So basically that's all there's to it. Like I said, it's just a different technique. Uh, it's not better or worse or whatever, uh, but just something that you can uh, play with to, uh, you know, put some new techniques under your belt. Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more in the future, please subscribe. Okay. Well, that said, uh, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye.